uh, training. This is part four about uh, the MTN API, uh, like programming. People were saying they couldn't understand the documentation. So I did part one up to part three uh, using the MTN own sandbox provision. So today I'm going to try and use Postman so that people uh, can also uh, see how to use Postman. And then, um, well, it has kind of disappeared me today because power has been on and off. Um, my name is Kamiya Simon. Please don't forget to share, like, or subscribe um, to my channel. Because if, if I get the statistics, it means uh, the, the video will be easy to search for. All right, so with me, I have uh, the sandbox. Of course, I'm uh, creating a user, so uh, sandbox under user provisioning. Uh, I do have the test for the user provisioning in sandbox. And then I do have the documentation. I do have my subscription keys from here. You just need to go here and then you choose profile. Um, and then I do have my online UUID editor. All right, so. Uh, I also have Postman running and Sublime Text so that I can paste my uh, codes. All right, so the first thing I've done, uh, I've come here uh, in Postman and I've created a new collection and that collection is called Momo YouTube Live. And then uh, let me go to the documentation. All right, so in the documentation they are saying there are two credentials that we need to use in the Open API. One is the subscription key we have, then the API user and the API key. So we've, we've already got the subscription key, which would be called this, all right? And then we are going to create an API user. So how do you create the API user? So these are the things you need for the API user. You need these headers and the body, all right? So in the headers, this is what you need. One, you need an X reference ID, all right? So I'm coming to, the, to Postman, and then I paste the X reference ID. Two, you need the content type, which is going to be application stroke, this one. Content type, so I paste it in Postman. Three, you need this OCP API subscription key, which is usually your primary key. So I'm going to come to Postman, and then I paste that too. All right, then you need, oh, I've put these parameters in the wrong place. They're supposed to be in the header. Right, so I don't know if so. Let me just copy them. They're supposed to be here in the headers, not in the parameters. I'll copy this again and then this. All right, so I need to I need to eliminate them here. Alright, so these are the headers we need, and then in the body, okay, you come here to row, and then you paste this. So, what do we need? We need a callback host, okay? So, in my case, the callback host I'm going to use is local hosts, uh, maybe 8,000. So, uh, you come here, local hosts. Um, localhost 8000 okay so that's what we need in the body for the callback host and then um, one we are posting we're not getting so we are posting to the server so we need a URL that we're posting to is posting to the sandbox okay we need a URL that we're posting to, and this is the request URL. All right, so let me copy this and then put it in Postman here. Paste. All right, all I need to do is now post. And this, um, these are the responses. Either I have a 201 for the user to be created, or I have uh, this bad request, or if it is a duplicate one, I'm conflicting now so let me go to postman and paste my items so the first thing I need uh, is the online UUID okay so this is the one that I copied here all right so I'm going to copy it and paste it in my subscription key 
this one will never change. The moment you have it, that's why I saved it around uh, uh, this side. The moment you have it, it will never change because it's like your user, okay? You, it, it's the one that will reference you as a user uh, in the, on the server, uh, on the MTN server. And then uh, content type is application JSON. JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notation. It's not a language. It's just like a format, a way of doing things. Okay? So this is JSON. And then the subscription key. So I'll just come here and then choose Show. And then copy it. So by pressing Command A. Uh, where is it? Oh. Have I interchanged? Ah, okay. I've interchanged a few things. Let me reload. Let me reload. Okay, so come on. Okay, let me copy it from my. So I'm going to show and then copy this, the whole of this, from my profile, and then come and paste it here. Right, then all I need to do is send. Okay, so let's see the response that the server is going to give us. Okay, 201, we have created a user. All right, so our next thing is now to get the user info. Um, to get the user info, so to get the user info, to see if the user is really created, we do send a get. The other one was the post, so this get, Okay, to see if the user is really created. And you see, they need um, that X reference ID that you used to send. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to, one, I need to save this and save it to that particular collection. Which collection is Momo YouTube Live? All right, so here it is, Momo YouTube Live. So I'm going to duplicate this, all right, so that I don't need this. So that there is no need to, uh, there is no need to to do what to like put back the headers again. I'll just disable a few things, and then let me, let me rename this to create user, and then this one find out user, uh, which is user info. All right. So in the user info, what do they need? They need me to add here, okay, this, the X reference ID. Okay, so I'm going to disable it here, and then I paste it here. So I want to find that use that particular user. All right, so um, okay, I'm here. All right, so this is what they need. They just need the X reference ID and this that subscription key. So I'm going to come to Postman here. So I've disabled uh, the X reference ID, which I'm pasting here, okay? And then the subscription key. And then I'm going to send. We expect a response. So the response, the resource is not found. Mm, let me see what I've not done, right? Let me see what I've not done, right? So they're saying it's a 404, the resource is not found. It have just created that user, so let me see what I've not done. Um, let me see. Am I rushing? All right. So stroke API user, and then the X reference ID. Okay. So let me choose to try it and I get sure. All right. So they just need the X reference ID, and then the the subscription the subscription key let me check do i need this let me send again oh i don't need the body too i do not need the body uh, so let me send again resource not found come on am i missing something uh api oh 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 oh, oh. i do get it so i'm sending a post but I'm supposed to send a get. I now want to get the user. All right, so my content type is okay. And then send again. All right, 
two zero zero. Okay, so it is prov telling me that uh, the local uh, the local host eight thousand. That information I provided here um, in the body local host eight thousand, and then uh, the target environment is the sandbox. All right, so these are what I expect. The responses I expect. Okay. All right, so we are sure that the user is there. Now we want to create an API key for that particular user. We want to create an API key for that particular user. You can see how how easy it is now that you watched part one to part three. So uh, we want to create an API key for that particular user. So I'm, I'm just going to come to... I'm, I'm not deleting those mistakes that I've done because you need them. You can easily forget, for example, I was sending a post, yet I'm supposed to send a get. All right, so let me go to my collection and then I duplicate and then I rename this to API key. API key. All right, so on the API key, remember I'm just duplicating this in that same collection. So some, some of the things I don't need to change. So on the API key, what do they need? So let's see. On the API key, one, they need the X reference ID and then stroke API key. So all I need is to copy this word API key and then come here and then uh, one, I'm going to paste the X reference ID, this X reference ID here. All right, I paste it there. So meaning here I don't need it, I just uncheck. And then I stroke again the URL, it needs, uh, URL says it needs an API.